And welcome back to the show. We're talking about dressing women for success. Two of our guests, Newtonia Coleman, who's the program coordinator for Dress for Success Nashville, and LaRonda McGrath, who is the VP of Community Programs for the YWCA. Uh, before we took a break, you all were kind of talking about all of the activities that are coming up uh, with Dress for Success and the YW and the Boutique 2616 <laughs> uh, coming out throughout the month. But I want to make sure people have the dates of the suiting for African Americans. American women. Th mm -hmm. That is uh, February 8th through the 29th. That's correct. The yes. end of the month. Mm -hmm. um, and so in order to sort of be on the list, if you will, of the women that get to su be suited, what are you looking for? What do they have to do? Uh, we rely on our referral partners to send the women to us that they feel would best benefit from Dress for Success. And so we approve the referral partners and then the referral partners in turn actually talk to the women. They know the situations, they know the backgrounds, yes. and so they are the best people to really decide who would benefit most from our services. This might be a good thing to have, but what if you go over the 25 uh, number that you have set? We would be absolutely thrilled. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Our goal for the year is for this fiscal year is to serve uh, or suit 150 women and so we are okay. We're at 85 currently. Yes. Oh wow. So we're moving right along and Absolutely. we're feeling pretty good about that. And, and I guess some would say it's not just a program for the women who need the services. Obviously that's the intent. But also it's a way for others to give mm -hmm. uh, to the program. So so you need the clothing in, yes. the, in the boutique in mm -hmm. order to be able to suit women. Mm -hmm. So so what needs are there as far as helping you get those donations, whether they're financial, monetary donations, or whether they're clothing donations in order to run the program. We are always delighted to receive donations from individual donors, but we also have a number of corporations in the Nashville community that run clothing drives for us. And then sometimes the women volunteer and come in and actually help us process the clothing. We want to make sure that the clothing that we receive is pr pretty pristine. That's why we emphasize new or gently mm -hmm. used. And we have a cadre of volunteers who come in and actually look at everything so that when we're giving it to Dress for Success clients, they can be assured when they walk into that interview or show up for that first day of work that they've been clothed appropriately, things are clean, neatly pressed, so they're ready to go. We had one client, in fact, LaRonda talked earlier, who came in and was dressed for her interview. It's one of my favorite stories from the year that I've been with the program. And she was feeling not the best when she came in. Mm. And after we dressed her, and she was going directly to the job fair after that. Mm -hmm. And she said in her survey that she completed at the end, I came in feeling like $50 and I left feeling like a million bucks. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing that sometimes the simplest things can kind of boost that confidence in a person, in a woman, in a person, mm -hmm. period. Uh, is it, is, are you, do you have all st these kinds of stories all the time, I'm wondering? We do. Mm -hmm. We absolutely do, and, and we are thrilled to do that. Um, I also wanted to share that it, LaRonda mentioned that it's more than a suit. Yes. So we provide some career support for them as well through the YWCA's Family Literacy Center. Uh, we have a specialist on board who works with them on building a resume, on interviewing skills, and we also work with, uh, we partner with Goodwill's Career Solutions Center to send candidates to provide, to get the extra skills skills that they'll need to be successful. So they get a well-rounded mm -hmm. experience, which has to make a difference, especially, as you say, when sometimes they come in and they're not feeling their yes. best all the time, yes. or maybe they're embarrassed that they have to be there, unfortunately, mm -hmm. right? So, yes. so giving them those additional skills probably really helps lead to the success in the mm -hmm. end, would you say? Absolutely. Exactly. I would like to also add that, yes, women that we serve are feeling fantastic when they leave, but the personal shoppers our volunteers, oh. this is also a wonderful experience for them. They too are feeling very empowered and like they made a difference. So you, yes, you can give clothing. Yes. Yes, you can all, we always accept donations. Um, you know, you can check our, our YWCA 
uh, Nashville.org Web website, yeah, website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, make a donation at any time. But donation of your time is also very valuable to us as a program. We can't do it without volunteers. And so we really rely on our volunteers to be our personal shoppers and to help us really realize the dream of Dress for Success. I teased this before we went uh, to break, but one of the things that people may not know is that the Dress for Success program is housed in a cute little boutique uh, that the YWCA calls 2616. That's right. So talk a little bit about 2616 and that experience. Yes, well, well 2616 is our lovely resale boutique located in East Nashville. And as a matter of fact, we're having a great sale on 2616. Cute. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> and we are inviting the community to come out and shop because when you shop at 2616, the proceeds go to benefit not just Dress for Success, but other YWCA uh, right. programs. And so um, it's a great cause. You get to shop, look great, and it's a great cause. And so we really invite folks to come right. out. Mm -hmm. And we also want to stress that you get Terrific bargains. Absolutely. Items in name the shop. Name brand clothing. <laughs> name yeah, brand. I've shop there. Designer I'm not, I'm clothing. Not even lie. In some cases. <laughs> but most of the items in the shop are from five to about fifty dollars. So it's really very, very reasonable. Accessories, shoes, clothing, Absolutely. everything is in this little yes. boutique. That's right. That's right. You know, and, and I, I'm assuming a lot here, but I just assume that people also know all about the YWCA, but that may not be the case. So maybe talk a little bit about the history of the YW um, and the impact on this community, of course through Dress of Success, of course through our, our domestic violence shelter, but even beyond that. Talk a little bit about that. Well, yes, the YWCA has been around for well over 100 years, and I think people, a lot of folks don't know that. You yeah. know, and we are a um, organization that really is about eliminating uh, racism and empowering women. Those are our two big main goals and we do that through a series of programs and you mentioned uh, domestic violence and certainly dress for success but we also have a, a Girls Inc. program where we work with young girls in schools you know and we want to encourage them to be bold and to be brave and strong and we have a MEND program which is Men Ending Violence against women and so that is a, a great way of it's not just about what we say as women we need men to also support uh, that value and that um, they too will speak up when they see violence in the community in their mm -hmm. homes and um, and I know I'm missing a lot Family of our literacy programs. Family literacy center. Oh, yes. And I recently attended with my daughter a financial empowerment session for girls yes. uh, where we had Reese Witherspoon yes. and Cece Winans mm -hmm. uh, there. So That's right. That's all sorts of ways to really empower women and girls to, to, to be financially independent and be better than they pro probably already absolutely. are, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, um, neglecting Family Literacy Center. I want to say a little bit about that and the yeah. fact that um, folks who have not given up on their dream uh, to receive their high school mm -hmm. um, diplomas, they can come to the YW and participate in classes and go ahead and check that off of the bucket list, you know, making sure that they get their high school diploma because that helps when you get to 2616 and back right. there and dress for success and really being able to um, realize your dream. Is, a way, is there a way to pinpoint success? And I mean, I, I know you probably keep track of the women. You got the stories, obviously. You've mm -hmm. got the cards that show uh, those moments of success. But overall, is there a way to show the impact that you're really making with YW and all of these programs on a whole? So it's good that you, uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. We have a data tracking system that's called Efforts to Outcomes, ETO. And we're really working in this year to track the women that we serve and because Natonia is part-time right now <laughs> we haven't um, necessarily have the uh, resources to do long-term tracking mm -hmm. but that is a goal of ours so how can we do that and we have some great volunteers um, that are looking into that, into that for us some great interns we have one that started um, today that is going to help us start to collect some of that data where we can go back and really track the women who have uh, come through our doors to see if they are employed mm -hmm. and how long they've been employed. So that is a goal of ours and that we want to um, start really tracking these things longitudinally and seeing how, 
how well they're doing. So I want to make sure people know how to uh, find out more. Uh, let's give the website again and any other information that they may need, the important dates and all that good stuff for the upcoming events and activities. So who wants to well, share? We want to remember the uh, 2616 Resale Boutique which is located in East Nashville. We want to remember the 2616 sale, mm -hmm. um, and we want people, if they're interested in volunteering or if they're interested in making donations, they can give us a call at 615-891-4242. And we've got the uh, web address right there on the screen as well. Uh, you can go under the Programs tab on the, s on the website and look for Dress for Success there and any other program that they mm -hmm. may be interested in. And, of course, if there's any kind of uh, donation interest, they can mm -hmm. get that from there as yes. well. Thank you so much for being with us and talking about Dress for Success and even beyond that, all the other programs offered under the YW umbrella. We appreciate you being here. And we thank you for watching. Uh, we will see you again next time. Thank you.